Okay, so this is an example of a polyculture garden. What is a polyculture? It basically means more than one crop in one space. And either by intention or mistake, we end up getting a lot of different things growing in one bed. It's usually intentional, but sometimes we have an open spot and we might just plant something in that open spot. Just experiment. So we've got strawberries here intermixed with some wild mint that's come up. And then we've got lettuces mixed in with that. We've got squash growing on the fence with beans and potatoes and tomatoes growing in here amongst this amaranth weed, which is actually quite edible. We've got beans growing up along the fence, fava beans in the back, cabbages left over from winter, tomatoes coming in because we're in kind of early summer now, peas left over from winter here, cucumbers, raspberries back in here. So a lot of times we would like to integrate perennials into our gardens also because you don't have to plant them every year. This one here is a really fun one for pretty much anyone anywhere. Jerusalem artichoke, sunchoke. It's in the Helianthus tuberosus. It's an edible sunflower. It has an edible root. It's great, super hardy, drought tolerant, frost hardy. And it's gonna have some really pretty sunflowers coming in pretty soon. And then when it dies back, you dig up the roots. Extremely productive. Perennials are really important as beneficial insect plants. And we, you notice there might be a lot of weeds in the garden. It looks like there's weeds. These are beneficial insect plants, like this here, sow thistle. It's actually edible, it's in the lettuce family. But birds really love the flowers. They love the seed. Birds love the seed on the sow thistle. And it's also a trap crop, because aphids love sow thistle. Integrated pest management is very important in your garden and in your orchards. This is a carrot flower here, which is one of the insects most favorite flowers, especially predatory insects or beneficial insects like wasps. Wasps will eat the eggs of your insect pests. And so we want to plant plants that attract the insects. Instead of releasing the insects in the garden, you plant it and they will come. Plant the insect plants and the insects will arrive. They're here, they're everywhere. The problem is most farms don't have anything but the crop that they're growing in the field. They don't have any beneficial insect refuges. This here is kind of like a little beneficial insect refuge because we've got clover, carrot flower, sow thistle, mustard, all growing in this little patch here and we're not weeding or spraying, we're not removing any of the plants, we're allowing them to grow as they would naturally. And then that's creating this little ecosystem which creates habitat for the beneficial insects.